what's up people piz out here and today i'm going to be unbagging two different trick-or-treat studios michael myers masks now i picked up both of these masks off of ebay they were listed pretty cheaply i thought one of them is the halloween 2 ben tramer mask and the other is the halloween 1 boogeyman mask now i wanted to pick up the ben tramer mask because um I, I just think Ben Tramer is one of the most tragic characters in Halloween history. But honestly, I think the Ben Tramer mask is just an oddity among Michael Myers masks, and I've wanted one to add to my collection for... A while now and when i saw this one listed on ebay and how cheap it was i couldn't say no as far as the halloween one boogeyman mask i purchased it because i want to try my hand at painting it at making it look more aged and weathered so that's why i picked up the boogeyman mask both of the listings included the actual product photos and not the promo photos uh, that you see like on trick-or-treat studios website because if you've purchased a mask from Trick or Treat Studios in the past, you know what you see versus what you get can differ greatly. So I don't know which mask is in which bag, so I'll start with the pink bag, and we'll see what's inside of it. Um, I'm kind of guessing just by the... I don't know. We'll see. I want to say this is the Tramer mask, but yeah, yeah. that white hair... <laughs> Just popped right out at me. But, um, yeah, here it is. The Halloween 2 Ben Tramer mask. Now, what's kind of strange about this mask is I've always just thought that this was a regular Michael Myers mask, a white mask with blonde hair. But if you, if you look at the movie... Um, there's a scene where when you first see Ben Tramer and he's walking down the street toward, uh, Dr. Loomis and Sheriff Brackett, the mask actually has this very silvery, shiny kind of look to it. Now, when you see other photos or you watch like the, what's going on behind me there with uh, Mr. Tramer moments before his untimely demise, the mask just looks kind of white with a little weathering on it so i'm not exactly sure why trick or treat studios went with this just flat gray color for the mask um i probably won't try and touch this one up any or add any white or silver color to it um i'll probably just keep it the way it is as far as the color um, i'm definitely going to tease up the hair and make it look more like the Tramer mask in the movie and now that and now that i'm teasing up the hair uh the hair is kind of flying everywhere um as far as the trick or treat studios mask is concerned i mean this one's pretty standard trick or treat studios mask the pull is definitely not the thickest but it's got some give so if you plan on wearing this mask and you've got a big head it might slide on there the hair is okay the hair's okay, I think. So you kind of frizz the hair out a little bit <laughs> so that it looks a little more like the mask in the movie. And um, yeah, overall, you know, the sculpt looks really good. Actually, this may be like the... I don't know. This may be like the Boogeyman sculpt. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what just regular mask this is painted gray with the blonde hair, but um, it may actually be the Boogeyman mask, and I've got white hair flying around everywhere. So yeah, there we go. The, uh, the Ben Tramer Trick or Treat Studios mask. Overall, definitely not a bad mask from Trick or Treat Studios. The sculpt is good. The pull is thin, but again, that gives it some stretchability, so if you do plan on wearing it and you've got a big head like I do, that will... Um, that will definitely help if you plan on wearing this mask. But yeah, overall, definitely not a bad mask from Trick or Treat Studios. I will have to work on teasing this hair out a little bit more to give it that Tramer, the Ben Tramer do. But um, yeah, there you go. All right, bag number two. This must be the Halloween one 
boogeyman mask. So we'll get this open and take a look at it. So here we go. The boogeyman mask. And yes, yes, this is definitely... I do think this is the exact same sculpt that they used for the Tramer mask. Just, of course, painted gray with some <laughs> blonde hair. Oh, I'm covered in white hair now. Jeez. And this one still has the tag attached to it. And honestly, I was a little surprised that this was a Halloween 1 mask. Now, there for a while, Trigger Treat Studios were producing a lot of... They looked like Halloween 1 masks, but they were having to call them Halloween 2 masks, like the Elrod or the um, uh, the hospital mask. And I guess that was because at the time they didn't have the license to make Halloween 1 Michael Myers masks, because now that they do have that license, the Elrod and the hospital mask are no longer in production. So when I first saw this one, I thought this one was a Halloween 2 mask, but no, it's a Halloween 1 but it really, the sculpt is good, but it doesn't look like their other Halloween 1 Michael Myers mask that they released last year. I actually did two videos on that mask in unboxing, and I had the mask rehauled, and I did a video showing off the rehauled version of that mask. But this mask looks really good. Again, I like the sculpt. The pull on this one's actually a little thicker than the Tramer mask, so less give, but this is a much larger mask than the Tramer mask. So even though this one has less give, it's bigger. So for all of you guys out there with big heads, this mask will probably fit you. I, I would assume this, you know, this mask will probably fit me. I won't try it on now though, but um, yeah, pretty good size mask. The hair on this guy looks pretty good. Um, this is not your standard Trick or Treat Studios herring job. Like the Ben Tramer mask is definitely the standard Trick or Treat Studios herring job where they just sort of, they apply a layer, then there's a, <laughs> a bald strip, then there's a layer, bald strip, layer, bald strip, layer. So when you lift the hair up, you just see strip of hair, bald strip, strip of hair, bald strip. This is not like that at all. This is a this is actually a pretty decent um, hair job for this guy. Yeah, it's more of a full head of hair, put it that way. As far as the paint job, it's pretty white. There is some flesh color down here on the neck and a little bit of gray on the lips and maybe just a touch of gray under the nose. Aside from that, oh, we've got the... Um, the, uh, the mark here on the side of the neck where Lori stabs him with the, um, the needle. And as far as weathering this guy, I'll probably add some dark gray or black color uh, in the corners of the eyes, some gray under the nose to really make that stand out, some gray on the lips to really make those pop, and some gray around the cheekbones to kind of highlight them so that they stand out a little more. But overall, I'm really Pretty impressed with the Halloween 1 Boogeyman Trick or Treat Studios mask. Again, I like the sculpt. The pull is pretty thick. It's a good size mask. The hair is pretty good. It's overall just a really solid Michael Myers mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll include some footage to give you guys an up close and personal look at uh, both of these masks. But if you've purchased either of these masks from Trick or Treat Studios, Please let me know your thoughts on either or both down in the comments section below. Also, let me know what your favorite Trigger Treat Studios Michael Myers mask is down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace.
big thank you to all my awesome Patreon supporters. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for monthly live streams and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Patreon.com forward slash Pizal or follow the link in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.